And since we're on this, and in regards to your um, um, summary pages, it would be on, because at first I took the, the algebra book, the online book, and I was trying to do, I was doing the summaries through that, and that was wrong. So the summaries would be um, on your lectures, on the, the uh, PowerPoint, as well as the slides. That would be how I make my summary pages from that instead of the algebra book. The online stack. Okay, so so the summary sheet would be from anywhere of these uh, resources that you have. It doesn't have to be from my PowerPoint. It doesn't have to be from the video lectures or whatever you found. Whatever you found that is really important, you can just include it in your summary. So just to give you an example of of the summaries that already been posted in class. So as you can see, like the students here made the list of everything was important for her right there okay. okay that's her that was her summary whereas the other student's summary was one page and this is something that you want to put in your portfolio and refer to it when you do the homework and this is this is another summary this uh, looks like that uh, this students felt like those examples are a, a good bunch of summaries to recall okay so again is really is a personal thing that of what you want to put in there and that sh that that can come from any of these resources that are given to you it could be from the powerpoint it could be from the a free ebook that you have any anywhere that you find something that worth uh recording on your summaries to to re to refer to those would be the collection of your summaries Okay, good, because I did do it through the book, but then I thought, so that's good. Compliment. The book is good too, uh, but you have a lot of good information on the PowerPoints. You can just go through the PowerPoints and because PowerPoints give you like a synopsis of all the important things also. Right, it, it's it's kind of hard to navigate through the book because it, it doesn't like go to chapter to chapter. So if you kind of try to go back to where you were at, you're like, where is I at? Because <laughs> it doesn't give you page numbers or anything. So this is much more concise. I like it. And I really, I'm glad you said that about the PowerPoint um, presentation. Okay, so, I, I would probably make a quiz out of this one also for students to make sure they know how to do this. Yeah, that was very helpful. That That's very helpful. Um, and also the practice test set below. So, and um, when you mm -hmm. mentioned in it, um, when you mentioned in the review for the online test to take the quizzes. So it's all been, um, it's coming together. So thank you very, very much. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. So regarding the practice test, you also have uh, these as well. I don't know if you uh, viewed that. These are optional, of course, but these are the list of all the uh, review session I had uh, for the practice test. So some of them go back to 2016. Okay, these are uh, these are. Uh, these math are the, changes. <laughs> yeah, these are really old, but the same stuff. I guess math hasn't changed since 2016 <laughs> or, or beyond before. So, uh, so as you can see in in this session here, I actually have an interaction with the students about you know a lot of problems. So like these are these are more common problems actually because these are a selected problem that we did with the students. So that would be really helpful too. So like in this session here, we did problem one to five only. So we worked on uh, you know mini lectures of those topics here, so you can uh, refer to. So these are also available. Uh, just a mini session that we had in past. And these are, again, these are the op optional practice tests, more problems. Uh, and then you do have a video lecture, a step-by-step -step video lecture solution for all these problems that you see here too. So this was very helpful, I thought, well, because you have embedded a video next to each problem. So that, that was another way to, to explore this. But again, uh, I, I really want everybody to make sure that then they open a PowerPoint presentation, open the video lecture next to it as well. Okay. That way they can follow it uh, in case if they have any questions on that. So do you have any other questions before I pause a recording for right now? No, actually that's, that is really good. Okay, good. So let me go ahead and pause recording for a moment. And if anything else come up uh, worth recording, we get back to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause recording also for now.